Hello, my name is Rick Simon, and I'm the Southern California Director of Projects for the High Speed Rail Program. In this video, we're going to show you a flyover of the preferred alternative for the Palmdale to Burbank section. The environmental document for the Palmdale to Burbank section will have six alternatives in it, and we have flyover videos for all six alignments on our website. But this particular video that we're showing here only depicts our preferred alternative, which we call the SR14A alternative. This video will be going from north to south, starting in Palmdale and going south to Burbank. We are looking south uh, along the railroad corridor. Uh, Plant 42 and the Palmdale Airport are on the left side of the picture. The high-speed rail alignment will parallel the existing Union Pacific Rail Corridor through Lancaster and Palmdale as we head south towards the mountains and into the San Fernando Valley. The high-speed rail alignment is shown in green, which denotes that the alignment is on the surface. There are uh, sections where the alignment is blue, which denotes that we're on a bridge. And then when we get into the mountains, there are sections where the alignment will change to purple. That denotes that we are in a tunnel. There's an alignment shown on the left side of the screen, the red line, that is the high desert corridor coming in from Las Vegas and Victorville. And that shows how those trains would come in and connect with our alignment just north of Palmdale and, and have access into the Palmdale station and eventually down into Los Angeles. So the high-speed train alignment, as I said, parallels the UP coming down through into Palmdale. We have the Palmdale station, which will be just south of Avenue Q, between Avenue Q and Palmdale Boulevard, just south of the existing Metrolink station. This is where the Palmdale station will be. This will be a multimodal station serving both high-speed rail Brightline project from Las Vegas and Metrolink, all interfacing at the Palmdale Multimodal Station. Continuing south, coming out of Palmdale, you see that the alignment is heading towards Una Lake. Una Lake is the small body of water in front of the dam that forms Lake Palmdale. We have some alternatives that impacted Una Lake, but our preferred alternative now swings to the east and goes around Una Lake. We're avoiding that resource. As the alignment continues past Una Lake, we will have a bridge that will cross over the Metrolink line, the California Aqueduct, and Sierra Highway. And then we continue up into the hills and we go into tunnel where the alignment changes to purple. We'll have a tunnel portal near the interchange of Pear Blossom Highway and SR-14. We continue into Acton in an underground alignment in tunnel coming around this curve. This is all in tunnel, all underground. We parallel the 14 freeway in this area. And you see a little section of orange line. The alignment through here is all underground, but where the orange is shown, we will have a temporary construction access point here. The alignment is about 100 feet below ground at this level. We will uh, dig a hole here and access the tunnel alignments here uh, using this site to insert and remove tunnel boring machines and also potentially removing uh, tunnel spoils uh, that will be taken out to the freeway and hauled away. And again, when we're finished, this site will be uh, filled back in and covered over. The alignment will stay all underground in its permanent configuration. This is a temporary construction access point in the orange. The alignment continues in tunnel, shown with the purple line, into the hills generally paralleling the 14 freeway. Approaching the Vasquez Rocks area. We cross the Pacific Crest Trail, but we are in tunnel where we cross the trail, so there are no direct impacts to the Pacific Crest Trail in this area. We come out of tunnel here where the alignment changes from purple back to green and blue. We'll have a viaduct across Agua Dulce Canyon Road, back into tunnel in the purple. In the next hill, merging from the tunnel again with the green line in the B Canyon area. We then have a structure across the Santa Clara River and Soledad Canyon Road, and then into Another tunnel in the purple will have a tunnel portal uh, entering into the National Forest where the Vulcan Mine site is today. 
we we were using that site as a construction point and when we're finished we will use the tunnel spoils to regrade that area and restore it to a, a natural condition when we're finished We now have our, our long tunnel through the National Forest, <clears throat> swinging around, avoiding the Magic Mountain Wilderness area, skirting the edge of Santa Clarita, and going through the mountains here. In addition to avoiding Una Lake and avoiding the Pacific Crest Trail, crossing the mountain range at this location is one of the reasons why we've selected this alignment as our preferred alternative. We're crossing the mountain range here in an area where the mountains are not as wide and are, are tall, but for a much shorter distance than where we cross the mountain range on some of our other alignments. One of the biggest risks is that we would encounter groundwater at very high pressures as we tunnel through the mountains. This alignment minimizes that risk by crossing at a point where we're deep underground for a much shorter distance than some of our other alignments. And at the southern end of the mountains, we, we stay in tunnel, uh, entering into the Pacoima Sun Valley area, staying underground as the purple color denotes. We pass underneath the interchange of the 118 and 210 freeways. And then you see another orange line there, which denotes a construction access point near that interchange as well. Continuing our tunnel underground, we emerge near Montague Street and come above ground and the green alignment is shown going across the spreading grounds with the bridge over the Hanson Dam Spillway. And then we enter the Metrolink corridor uh, in the vicinity of Sheldon Street. At this point, we'll be using this area as construction access as well to construct our tunnels. And these, the tunnel spoils from this section of the tunneling will be deposited in one of the old quarries you see the boulevard pit to the right of where the cursor is at the moment. We can use that site for uh, placing our tunnel spoils and potentially reclaiming that land uh, for development when we're finished. Alignment continues uh, on the surface. We enter the Metrolink corridor, we're running alongside Metrolink. We'll have a four track corridor, two for high speed rail, two for Metrolink. Once we cross the I-5 freeway, we uh, transition downward in a trench and eventually get underground where the purple is shown. We swing around the uh, end of the north-south runway at Burbank Airport until we reach an underground station at the Burbank Airport. Our station will be here where the cursor is and this will be immediately adjacent to the proposed new airport terminal or the Burbank Airport. So we'll interface directly between the high-speed rail station and the Burbank Airport terminal. The alignment for the Burbank to Los Angeles section is shown with the white line, the continuation of the alignment um, going into the, Metro, the Ventura Line Metrolink corridor and then the main Metrolink corridor going down to Union Station. That concludes our video of the SR14A alignment, the preferred alternative for the Palmdale to Burbank section. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to contact us at any time.